Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to the first episode of another of my Civilization 5 Fox Populi Let's Plays. If you are watching the other Let's Play that's currently running, you know what this is going to be. This time we're going to be doing One City Challenge as Korea. But before we get to all the details, let's quickly talk about the... Uh, the, the mods that we are using as usual, so complete Vox Populi package with advanced uh, filter for trade routes. Vox Populi version from 21st of November with the uh, unit upgrade cost uh, hotfix. I'll again make the, make the initial save file of this Let's Play available to you guys if you want to try to play with me. So make sure that you have the same version of Vox Populi. Uh, now, when we check the the settings, I hope the game kept the settings intact. So we'll be playing as Korea on standard size map. So we'll be playing against uh, seven people on um, archipelago map. So uh, islands everywhere. Standard size, deity difficulty, epic, uh, all of the rest I left on default. And for advanced options, again, disabled starting bias. I just want to have all the starting locations viable for every save that I play with. So I'll disable this pretty much every time. Uh, no events, no research agreements, no ruins, no vassalage. But it shouldn't matter that much for one city challenge. Uh, quick movement, quick combat, no raging barbarians this time, and uh, transparent diplomacy, so nothing unusual for one city challenge. And the goal this time is to get uh, a science victory, so you'll be focusing on great scientists a lot. Uh, that's how I want to achieve it. I want to just run away with the game as far as possible uh, like the victory condition is science victory but my goal basically is to find out how far ahead i can be at the end of the game so i'll be i'll try to push, push as hard as possible throughout the whole game and just uh, get the maximum out of korea in a second we'll talk about our unique ability and everything uh that we'll try to take advantage of uh, to achieve our goal and be really far ahead by the uh, by the time we get to the end of the game. So, as usual for One City Challenge, I picked the starting location ahead of time, not Egypt, Korea. Let's load this. And before we get uh, on the map, let's talk about Korea a, uh, a little bit. If I can, there we go. Uh, so, our unique ability is Colors of the Jade Hall. Plus one science from specialists, from, from all specialists. So, no matter what type of specialist it is, it gets one extra science. So, that's one way how we can run away with the game science-wise. And it's increasing by one in medieval, industrial, and atomic era. So, by the, by the time we get to the end game, we'll be getting plus four science from every single specialist, which is pretty insane for one city challenge because you'll be working like 20 specialist slots, maybe even more by the time. So, that is, a, that is a huge boost because this is then further melt, multiplied by all the modifiers that we'll pick up throughout the game. Then we have 30% great people generation during golden ages. So, we want to focus on golden ages as well. But for one city challenge, again, at some point we'll probably get. Uh, to that threshold where we can just stay in golden age forever. We just want to achieve it as quickly as possible. And 50 golden age points when a great person is born scaling with era. This is good that the extra golden age points start right away. We don't have to uh, research anything or enter specific era. Uh, we have this right from the start of the game. So uh, we should get our first golden age faster than we would get out there than we would get it otherwise. Next, uh, I should probably talk about our unique building. Uh, the seal one, I'm not sure how the pronunciation is, so whatever. Let's just call it unique building. A replacement for university, plus one science from jungles. We have some jungles around, but uh, the question is, do we want to keep them? I don't think that we'll ever work a jungle uh, when we will have so many great person improvements, right? 
So we most likely won't take advantage of the jungles that are around our starting location. Uh, plus one science and production from great works in the city. Again, this is great for one city challenge. 15% science in the city during golden ages. Another reason why to stay in the golden age for as much as possible. Gain 50% of the science output of the city as an instant boost to your current research when a citizen is born in this city and it reduces illiteracy. So yeah, uh, we want to grow our city as much as possible and as uh, it grows we get... Uh, uh, some extra science every time we get a new citizen. So basically, uh, almost everything that's unique to Korea somehow buffs science and and uh, and the snowball science even more. We will have to be careful not to get too far ahead of like our production. So that uh, we don't get into problems happiness-wise. We can just get so far ahead of our production that uh, uh, our people will just complain about everything. That we basically know too much and are not using our tags. So that might be a bit of a problem. And then um, uh, our unique uh, unit... I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. Replacement for a trebuchet. Uh, Anti-personal rocket unit of a medieval era. Strong and against land units but weak against cities. So it replaces a siege weapon with something that is not good in a sieging or at sieging. But it's good against units. This would be interesting to use for a defense. The problem is... When we upgrade it, we again get a normal siege unit. So, I'm just completely gonna skip this, right? We don't need siege units for one city challenge. Uh, so maybe if we ever do like a normal playthrough with Korea, we can uh, test this unit, but it's not gonna be this time. Uh, and moves at half speed in enemy territory, whatever, we don't care about that. So, let's uh, enter the map. And this is our starting location. Uh, this was, I think, the first starting location that I got this time. I didn't have to do any reloading at all. Uh, it seems that whales will be our main uh, resource, but I don't think that with one city challenge we'll be able to get monopoly on whales. So, uh, what I did before I decided that this is the the uh, like starting location that we're going to use... I move the Pathfinder north and there are no more whales anywhere to be seen. So it would be nice to get the, the Monopoly of course, it would uh, snowball our science even harder but yeah, we are most likely not gonna get it. Mm, other than that we'll have dice, the sugar will eventually be in the range and um, hopefully this will be an island that we'll have uh, just for ourselves but it seems that it's just uh, getting wider uh, to the west, so it's quite unlikely that we'd be able to just control the whole island. Uh, yeah, I think we can settle. Uh, this is a good start, because we can start on the hill with the jungle, so we do get the initial production and... Uh, uh, we don't have to waste time on moving. As usual, we started with the monument. And we have done this multiple times. So I'll go faster without too much explaining. As, at least for the early game. Starting with pottery for, sto for Stonehenge. Then probably a wheel. So that we reveal bananas. I think with our starting location, that might be better than going Annabelle Husbandry first. Although animal husbandry, wait, yeah, it is better. Wheel, animal husbandry, military theory for Temple of Artemis, calendar, mathematics, wrapping, trade, writing, philosophy, education. Uh, where is our, actually, our unique unit is... Uh, Are the philosophy, not education. Do we still have to go for education? 
Um, yeah, we want to get the med to medieval era as quickly as possible to increase the um, science bonus from our specialists. So this is what we want to do. And of course, we are trying to get temple, uh, hanging gardens. We'll see if we can try Great Library, but um, I, it is possible. When I did some testing off camera, I managed to get the Great Library uh, after Hanging Gardens like twice, but uh, we definitely can't rely on that. Uh, but what we want to get, of course, is Oracle and uh, yeah, then University of Sankor. Okay, so that's research. Did I forget anything? No, probably not. So let's go. The goal for this episode, let's try to build Temple of Artemis. We'll see how uh, quickly we can play this. It depends on how the island looks like. So let's follow the coast all the way around. See if we can find something interesting. There is another island, but it looks like just a tiny one. Um, actually, maybe it's not that tiny. It looks like there are just more land tiles to the north. Our island ends here. We have to get that sugar quickly, because if someone settles here, then they might be able to steal it from us. That will be unfortunate. Also, as we are exploring our island, we'll find out if we can maybe think about the monopoly on whales. No, there are just not enough whales around here. If there is the usual amount of uh, the luxury on the map, then we won't be able to get monopoly. This one, one, two, three, four. Actually, at some point, we will get this tile. It's far, far, far in the future, but it should happen at some point. But it's still just three tiles. That's probably not enough. I'm not sure about sea resources, though, how many there will be uh, on the map. It's possible that there will be less than the usual eight. In which case, uh, controlling like three tiles with whales might be enough for Monopoly, but we definitely can't count on that. Hmm. It seems that our island actually is not that large. Uh, we have olives, one, two, three, four, five. Well, again, we will get those olives at some point. Thinking how far what do we want to get? Probably don't care about Trailblazer too much. Although, at some point, we'll send the Pathfinder exploring. Now, let's go for the Trailblazer. Next. I'll reveal the remaining few sea tiles, and then probably go back down here keep an eye on as many tiles as possible make sure that barbarians are not spawning around yeah maybe we can even move on to this tile but then we would lose vision here thinking that we could maybe try to keep an eye on this tile in case this is a like a major island with a uh, with another save here i guess if we have a neighbor this close they will come to us with triremes soon so don't really care. Okay, we have Monument. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Three turns to get Pottery, which means for three turns you'll be farming. Is it worth it? Eight, five, it is. Uh, maybe we can play a guessing game in comments. And... Uh, mm, what uh, we are going to try to guess is by how many tags will be ahead by the time we win the game. If we win the game. Or by the time the game ends. Let's put it this way. Um, I think we should be able to win this. Korea is really strong. But in case it doesn't happen, then uh, by the time the game ends, on the turn when it ends, uh, 
uh, how many tags will be ahead. I guess it's probably like 18. Okay, there is pottery. Uh, wait, not working the whales. I think I wasted a little bit of food there. Uh, let's go Stonehenge. Stop farming. Three turns to grow. Okay, that's fine. One day I'll have to try one city challenge on Pangea map. Uh, and I think I'll try at some point. Do one city challenge domination victory on small map with something like Mongolia. I'm not promising anything. I'm not saying this is going to be like the next one city challenge, but just saying that I'll have to try it at some point if that's even possible. Okay, Pantheon found and Goddess of Protection. Okay, we don't care about that. Only care about one Pantheon. Uh, with one city challenge, just want to get my goddess of beauty. And we didn't find any more whales, so three tiles with whales is the maximum that we can get. And I don't think that even if we get all three, that will be enough for um, for the monopoly. Also, seed tiles or seed resources are actually not the best for one city challenge because uh, uh, we can't get the great percentile improvements on top of seed resources. Maybe a small change to a great admiral would be nice if great admiral had the option to also create a great percentile improvement. <clears throat> And then you would get a great percentile uh, on C resources. How are we doing? 152 gold. There is wheel. And we found bananas. So let's look at that. One tile with bananas. There are two more tiles, but it's too far away. Two, four. Yeah, we'll never reach these tiles, and even this one, of course, is out of workable range. The problem with this is, especially this tile, is now a really good city location for an AI that might be around. So, can we somehow prevent the AIs from settling here? We can buy this tile, as pretty much as far as we can go until we get the great general because then we can pop a citadel here and that would block everything around like a citadel here would block all of this hmm. probably try to get the free gen free great uh, general as quickly as possible or well, another option of course is to just allow one of the ais to settle here and then we just take care of the city Later. Uh, tradition, of course. Ten turns away from Stonehenge. Yeah, what are we supposed to do with the money? I'm probably gonna keep it. And uh, maybe we could save up and try to rush Great Library. Maybe with the rush, we might be able to get it. It also depends on who is on the map with us. Okay, still growing How long until we get the next social policy eight turns Want to start working the specialist slots as soon as possible. There is Stonehenge 
goddess of beauty. And now we go shrine, granary, and then we'll see. Okay, go. Husbandry, anything interesting? No, not a single tile with the horses, cattle, or anything. That's quite disappointing. There are quite a few uh, grassland tiles. So I was hoping that maybe like one tile with horses. Not that we need them, but we can of course always trade them. And a little bit of extra gold would be nice. We won't get that much gold from what we have around. We actually just have food and. A bit of production, one tile that has gold that we can work. So not that much to work with, no like special yields, really just the basics. Ah, there is another policy, so we want to go justice. And make sure that we get our great engineer as soon as possible. 29. And we get the next social policy in 28. Problem is, we will most likely get the mathematics before we get fourth social policy. So we'll have to delay hanging gardens until we get the fourth social policy. Is this good for creation? It's already turned 53 and so far we haven't met anyone. This could mean that we are far away from all neighbors. That's just not a big problem for one city challenge. Um, do we need a worker? No. We need more people. Come on, come on, come on. Five turns, then we can start working on Temple of Artemis. There we go. That's a good timing. We just got another worker. Problem is we don't have a single tile within our borders yet that would have double production. And I don't want to waste gold to buy a mountain without anything. Uh, let's go temple. Okay, so in 14 turns, 13 turns, we got uh, the third social policy. And the next one is probably going to take like 40 turns. Uh, mathematics in 21. you will probably have to wait like 20 turns after we research mathematics before we can start working on hanging, bar hanging gardens. Might be able to squeeze in the Roman Forum. I guess we don't really need it for it this playthrough and I want to keep the production cost of the wonders that we really want to get as low as possible. So if I built a Roman forum it could increase the cost of great library by just enough that we won't be able to get it. And well if I had to choose between great library and Roman forum I'd take great library every time of course. Well, give me my next social policy for the turns. Oh, do we have your most stable nations in history? How the hell does someone have 17 happiness? Wow, this is insane. 
it doesn't really mean that much early, just the fact that someone has happens this high is crazy. Bit of expands. Here we get our next social policy. Which is pretty important because sovereignty with that the artist slot I'll speed up the next social policy it's 55 now it's gonna be 40 yeah that's much better and we'll get religion in 86 let's make sure we are not missing something important nope for terence for the uh for the temple of artemis and now we get our great engineer we can remove jungle now, so let's go this way. How many hills do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, that's fine. We all have enough production. Okay, that scared me a little bit. Every time I hear this noise that wonder has been built and i'm about to finish a wonder it scares me so much especially for these wonders that uh, are really quite important Okay, there's our temple. Uh, let's get barracks quickly. What else is there for us to do? Pathfinder, warrior, worker, nothing at all. It's interesting that it's turn 82 and we still haven't met anyone. Where the hell is everyone? Come on, people, where are you? Could use a trading partner now because I'm going to sell the dies as soon as possible. Someone entered classical era. That is a bit scary. But I think that someone who entered classical era had to go straight either for ironworking or more likely sailing. It's two, four, six. Two, four, six as well. How the hell can they get classical era before we get it? Wow. But well, they will have the same problem with wonders in classical era that they just won't have the social policies to start working on them. Uh, barracks finished, so let's start farming again. And uh, let's finish mathematics. Then we're gonna make a cut in this episode. Petra is gone. Interesting. That's uh, very early, usually. It's not the high priority. It seems that someone started on a desert island. So how long do we have to wait? 16 turns. That's still a long time. Okay, so there is mathematics, classical era. And uh, I think that will be all for this episode. So next time... Hanging Gardens, try the Great Library Rush, and maybe get all the way to Philosophy. That'll be the goal. And also, in the next episode, we might be able to get Religion already. 
All right, this is an okay start. Nothing amazing. But yeah, we got everything that we wanted. So I would call this successful first episode. Um, I hope that you guys liked it. I hope that you can join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.